Uh, tell us, uh, what have you been uh, impressed with in terms of this year's uh, edition of Blood in the Snow? Um, well, I've been impressed well with the organization, and uh, I like that they've upgraded with the, the theater. I mean, not that the Carlton wasn't awesome. As, uh, we were just talking about that at brunch this morning. The, the Carlton was a great setup for them, but they had outgrown it. And, uh, and this is a great venue. Um, so I like it for, for the filmmakers um, because it's nice that the audiences get to see their screens in the full surround with, you know, the large screen and everything. So that's awesome. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it's, it's always just a, it's a, a well-organized, well-run festival. So. I like uh, I kind of like the uh, the industry panels that was uh, that was taking place here, um, and especially the one in regards to entertainment law and um, how things. Sometimes you should shoot certain things or use certain music, and then you know there's there's a lot of money that has to be put into getting the license and the copyright. And uh, of course, you know a lot about that. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, or, or shed shed some of your experience in regards to that. Um, well, I'm no expert, um, but I did I appreciated that panel too, and uh, and I think it was really good information for new filmmakers um, to to hear, knowing that information going in, they can save themselves a lot of, of headache and a lot of trouble. Being, speaking with a lawyer you know, right off the bat, just to know what they can and can't get away with, and it'll save them a whole lot of trouble down the road. Like the fellow yesterday was saying, like it, it's better to do it at the beginning than to wait until you've sh shot your whole um, film. You know, and and then realize, oh, we can't use that song. We oh, that is in the background. We can't have that. So yeah, that information for the filmmakers is great. Um, tell us a little bit. Well, we we talked about this before. Uh, we talked about funding a little bit uh, yesterday. And but uh, tell us, uh, uh, they brought in uh, Blood in the Snow. Brought in the guys from. Uh, um, Ontario Media uh, Development Corporation and such. But uh, with your film that was shown here at Blood in the Snow a couple of years ago, Black Mountainside, you guys used private investors. Can you maybe uh, uh, comment on that and how that worked out for you and your film? Uh, that worked great, I think. I, I, and again, I wasn't m too much on the production end of things. I was an actor in that one. Um, but uh, I think they focused uh, primarily on private investors to get it off the ground. I think they did get a bit, um, some grants after the fact. Um, um, being a, an all-Canadian production and using all BC um, talent. So they did take advantage of some of the grants afterwards, but it, they didn't rely on it um, or rely on grants to get the film made. And I think that's, uh, that gave them some freedom you know, to make the film that they wanted. Right. And um, I'm also impressed here at uh, Blood in the Snow. Like, um, it's and it's always like this every year. How everybody really, you know, gets together, um, really <clears throat> talks about like the networking and and the marketing of film. And we're all really helping each other out here. Yeah, and that's actually I was here two years ago. We met and um, we had our our film Black Mountainside in it, um, and I came out for that. I'd met uh, Kirk at Fantasia. Um, he told me about Blood in the Snow. That's the first I'd heard of it. Um, Black Mountainside made it into the um, festival, so I came out for that. And that weekend, I was uh, kind of under the weather, and it was a bit of a whirlwind yeah. uh, tour, so I didn't really get a chance to take advantage of all that the festival had to offer. So I was looking for an opportunity to get back, and I uh, made a lot of really good connections, um, met a lot of really great people, made some good friends from the first go-round, and I'd had an opportunity this year to come back and so I just jumped at it and yeah because it's just a great opportunity the people who run it um, are awesome uh, they're so supportive of um, Canadian film and the genre filmmakers um, but it's just it's a great crew great opportunity to network and I, and I just came back to take advantage of the festival and, and enjoy it as a fan right. And I always appreciate the fact that you know we were here at uh, Cineplex actually you know um, be screening like indie films such as uh, such as the ones being shown here at Blood in the Snow, and I, you know, um, you get uh, you know you're hoarded by all the Hollywood stuff like the comic book stuff and the big blockbusters that cost like fifty or hundred million dollars. But you know, you we're just sometimes people just want to see you know indie stuff and like just regular original stuff. And yeah, can you comment a little bit about that too, yeah. and how that's good for? Uh, of course, the younger people, the younger generation of, of filmmakers and viewers, of course. Absolutely, yeah. No, I uh, I'm in the same boat with that one. Like, I, I mean, I've, I've got nothing against a good Hollywood production, but you get superheroed out, and you get uh, you know, there's so much is just it's just t movies have become a lot of the the subject matter is very typical, and, and so it's nice when someone has a, a 
different idea or a different approach at an old idea. Um, and you, you don't get that with a lot of the Hollywood film these days. So the, I'm a real fan of independent film in general. Yeah. And, uh, and that's why festivals like this are great, where these people can make these films. And there's some great films in this festival. Um, I'm li really looking forward to uh, the short film um, program as well. Uh, there's a, a, a lot of interesting stuff that can happen in that format. Right. Um, but yeah, no, festivals like the Blood in the Snow where they support indie film and Canadian film where, where these filmmakers can, can come and get their stuff seen and, uh, and, and have an audience and, and network and maybe get their movie marketed. Um, I think it's awesome, yeah. Well, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about your experience now. Like, what, what, what sort of like advice would you shed uh, towards um, the other actors um, that come here in Blood in the Snow, or, or just in general? Like, uh, what comes off in the top of your head when it comes to giving advice to other actors? Um, I think just when you come to events like this, to take advantage of the whole event. Go see as many films as you can, uh, meet the directors, meet the folks behind it, the other, or the other actors, uh, and network as much as you can. Take advantage of the industry panels. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to be learned there, and you know it, it comes with the experience, so <laughs> just take advantage of it. Um, and, and just make the most of it. And I, that's why I came back, because I didn't have the opportunity. Well, I had the opportunity, I just wasn't up to it. Um, but last time I was here, I, it was, I, I saw how cool the whole festival was, and I just didn't have the opportunity to, to, to take advantage of everything. Right. So I just came back, just specifically to take advantage of the festival and go to the panels and chat again with the directors and the filmmakers and the actors and the, and the, the guys running the, the, the show. Like, it's right. just a great bunch of people, so take advantage of every minute of it. Uh, tell us what's uh, coming up for you. Um, not a whole lot coming down the pike. Um, the the folks who did uh, Black Mountainside, um, Farewell to uh, Kings um, Productions, they've got their next feature coming out. Working title is Hammer of the Gods. Whether that will be the title of the film when it gets finished, I am not sure. Um, but if you go on IMDb and, and look for um, uh, Black Mountainside, yeah. um, click on the director and that'll keep you updated on the information there. And uh, I just have a small role in it, uh, but I read the script and and if this thing comes together, which it should, because it's the yeah. same director, same um, director of photography, and, so, and they're a great team. Um, so if that thing comes together, uh, it's gonna look beautiful, I think, and it's, and it's a really, really cool script. It's, it's a, yeah, nice little, nice little twists and yeah, it's clever.